Cathy Collins, thank you very much for talking to us. It's very kind of you to spend a little bit of time. Um, I wanted to start with a question that I've actually asked everybody in these interviews, which is to imagine that I'm a researcher at the beginning of my research career and I'm about to do my first research project. What would be your advice to me so I can conduct my research as well as I can and avoid the obvious pitfalls? Well, I think that any research, beginning or seasoned, should start with a very thorough literature review and also a development of a conceptual framework. And by that I mean utilizing the literature to frame the question and then allow the question to dictate or guide your further efforts as you design your actual study. And that involves data collection and data analysis. By starting with a literature review, you can under encapsulate the entire, or as best you can, the existing literature base, and that will help you frame a much more uh, suitable research question as opposed to looking at methodology first. Mm. What happens, though, if I have to frame my question first in order to get funding? You do, but more than likely you're going to have to do some type of literature base, if only to get the correct terminology. But the field, different fields are evolving at different paces, and terminology may be shifting as well. So you'll have to do some form of perusal of the literature. It may be a scant initially, but that will at least give you some direction. And so a literature review would be mandatory irrespective of when you did it. Now, you may do it more thoroughly as, as you advance in your project. Mm. That, that's a given. But initially, there should be some type of interest in the literature. Sure. And, and, and what sort of literature should I be looking at? A variety, um, basically published literature, peer-reviewed journal articles. Um, I also believe that any type of published work, whether it be in newspaper articles or fiction, depending on your particular aspirations of what you're doing, should be looked at as well. But usually the initial start would be in some type of academic peer-reviewed journals. And these may be accessed either through paper routes or through uh, the internet appropriate sources. And then moving from there, moving to other sources, such as uh, newspapers to find out what's current. And looking at that as well. Great. When you look at the field of research mm -hmm. methodology in 2009, um, what excites you? The, I think software, what's coming out as far as the different types of data analytical software. I'm learning a variety of different programs and what I'm interested in seeing the degree that these programs can facilitate my work. And also the degree that they can integrate, meaning if I want to look at something relative to a qualitative analysis, something relative to a quantitative analysis, I'm interested in seeing the degree that a software program can integrate the two. And that's the interest that I have in it. That's exciting. I know, I'm pretty excited that's about it. That's new as well, isn't it? Uh, well, relatively new. I, it's, you know, I say the last five years it's been taking off more, and but my interest in it is escalating because I can view it as important to my own work. Sure. That's important. Okay. And when you look into the future, mm -hmm. if we have a crystal ball, okay. um, what where do you see research methods going in terms of you know, what we might crudely call methodology? I think, um, again, it's just looking at it briefly, but there appears to be a trend, or I assume there's a trend, toward methodology being very specific to a, a particular area. For example, recently I edited with colleagues a book on stress and coping, and here we applied different methodologies to the practice of stress and coping. So I see that more of a hooking very uniquely to a particular field, different types of methodologies and how they may apply. Kathy Collins, thank you oh, thank very you. much. Thank you.